the champions, Margie and Dick Dorn, and challenging them, Ginevra and David Bale. The prize, their dream of a lifetime, Dream House, where young married couples can win the home of their choice, built for them somewhere in the United States. A dream house and furnishings worth more than $40,000. And now, here's your host, Mike Darrow. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to Dream House. A good Tuesday to you. We're going to ask our two young married couples all about their world of today. The couple that knows more about the world they live in can go on to win the most treasured goal of every young couple, their own dream house. And we will build it for them somewhere in the United States. And let's today welcome our contestants. Our returning champions are here, Margie and Dick Dorn. Good to have you back with us yesterday in a very tough game. I must again congratulate you. We had a couple yesterday, the uh, uh, Polanskis, that's right, that had won their sixth room and were trying for their seventh and final, and they met Margie and Dick Dorn, and you came out the victors on that one. It was a great game all the way. Again, congratulations to you. You're playing for the Kingsbury Franklin, right? Yes. And where are you going to set that up again? In Bar Harbor, Maine. Bar Harbor, Maine. You have won the patio, six more rooms in a row is all you need and that home in bar harbor maine is yours and we're going to play room or game number two right now and here are your challengers ginevra and david bales and i believe you're from boulder colorado is that right that's correct what brings it to new york david we're just visiting some friends here and uh, trying to be on dream house very good well you made it to dream house anyway good what do you do in uh, boulder I'm a sociology student at the University of Colorado. When you complete your course, what do you plan to do? Uh, continue studying for my PhD and then write and teach. Very good. Ginevra, how about you? Well, I'm a plain old housewife. <laughs> There's no such thing as a plain old housewife, Ginevra. We call them, uh, what do we call them today? Homemaker. Homemaker. Homemakers. Homemakers, <laughs> or there's another term, too, that I can't remember right now. Uh, what house have you chosen to play for? The Franklin. The Kingsbury Franklin. Let's look at it now. Jeff? The Kingsbury Franklin model is a striking colonial home featuring towering columns with the authentic colonial touch. Your dream house will be provided by Kingsbury Homes and its builders, manufacturers of over 50,000 fine homes, each famous for its quality in design, materials, and construction standards. And two of your rooms will be paneled with fashionable Royal Co. decorator paneling from Masonite in a lively choice of colors with grains and textures. Mike? Whenever I was thinking of household uh, economist or, or a house, yeah. no, I've, I've forgotten it again because, David, I want to ask you where you're going to build that home. We're going to build it in or near Boulder, Colorado. Good. Household executive. That's what <laughs> I wanted to remember. Okay. Good luck. You've selected a beautiful home, Ginevra and David. We play each game for one room at a time. The couple that wins seven rooms in a row will win their dream house. And we'll start today's first game right after this message. Goodbye, frying pan. Chicken I don't fry. Not since they made the shake and bake in the new Italian flavor. Ah, the oregano, the parmesan. All the lively Italian flavors blended right in the coating mix. You just shake and bake. Is that easier than frying? Easy as original shake and bake. But the flavor is lively Italian. Try it. Ever notice that people are a lot like their dogs? These two, for example, are big eaters. They're each enjoying a carefully balanced meal with all the protein and vitamins they need. Vegetables, meat, and fruit for Arnold, and a big bowl of Gaines meal for Gertrude. Gaines meal, the balanced diet for the American dog. All right, couples, here's how we play our game. Questions are worth five points each. First one to signal earns the right to answer, but look out, because if you're wrong, your opponent has a crack then at the same question for ten points. Two minutes before the end of the game, all the point values will double, and when time is up, each of you may still have one last chance to win. We're playing for the garage and some very lovely gifts in it. Good luck to you. I caution you at all times, signal before answering. Wait till I call on you. Otherwise, we cannot accept your answer. Here's your first question. Our director thinks that I should uh, take up jogging. I frankly think it's a good idea, and I think he ought to take it up, too. He needs it more than I do. If I want to run the longest distance, should I jog for a rod, a furlong, or a league? <laughs> David. 
David. A league. A league is correct. About three miles. It's the longest of those three. David, I caution you now. That light indicates you're out of the next question. You're never alone against Margie and Dick. What emotional quality did Shakespeare call the green-eyed monster? Margie. Jealousy. Jealousy is correct. Five points. <laughs> Remind you, too, Margie, you're out of the next question. Dick alone against Ginevra and David. What ornithological expression do we use to describe wrinkles around our eyes, Ginevra? Crow's feet. Crow's feet is correct. <laughs> Some of the earliest oldies but goodies belong to Bill Haley and his group. Two of their big hit songs were Rock Around the Clock and Shake, Rattle, and Roll. Name the group, Margie. The Comets. The Comets is right. correct. Bill Haley yeah. and the Comets. And a tie score. Would you watch over here, please? Rules were made to be broken. What spelling rule do these correctly spelled <laughs> words, Dick? Uh, they show that I before... Oh, I'm afraid I didn't listen to the whole question. Uh, I before E except after C. Too late for that, Ginevra and David. Can you signal? Ginevra? I before E except after C. It's right. Oh. You were right, Dick. You didn't continue on it, though. That's good for 10 points. I before E except after C. The longitude of New York City is 74 degrees. What is the longitude of Greenwich, England? Dick? Zero degrees. Zero is right. correct. It's the prime meridian. In Germany, a superman is an Ubermensch. Now, he's not a cartoon character. He's the overman who can rule himself. He was created by a German... Uh, David. Nietzsche. Nietzsche is what we were looking for, the German philosopher who discussed it in the book Thus Spoke Zarathustra, Name the Philosopher. The Broadway musical The King and I was based on a Margaret Landon novel. Name it, Margie. Anna and the King of Siam. Right, for five points. That sound means for the next two minutes, the point value of all our questions doubles to 10 and 20. The score is the Dorns 20, the Bales 25, a close game. We clear the board. You all have a chance at this first question. What's the chemical symbol for magnesium? David. MG. MG is correct. 10 points. He is now the star and owner of the fabulous Magicians. He's known as one of the greatest dribblers in the game, Dick. Goose Tatum. No, I'll complete it for you, Ginevra. Known as one of the greatest dribblers in the game of basketball, he became famous professionally with the Harlem Globetrotters. Name him. <coughs> Ginevra. Meadowlark Lemon? No, Marcus Haynes. Marcus Haynes. <laughs> it's trivia time. Archie Andrews of comic book fame had two girlfriends who were theistic. Veronica and Betty. That's correct. Veronica and Betty. Who are they? Cuthbert J. Twilley and Flower Bell Lee, better known as W.C. Fields and Mae West, wrote and starred in an outlandish comedy western. It became very popular with Margie. The bank deck? No, I'll complete it for you, David and Ginevra. It became very popular with the in crowd. Name the film. My Little Chickadee. Oh, no. Chickadee. Oh, yes. Her <laughs> real name was Mary Ann Evans, but she wrote under a masculine pseudonym. One of her most famous novels is Silas Marner. Yes, Margie. George Eliot. George Eliot is correct. What do we know her by? George Eliot. Signal when you know the word I'm looking for. It's a city in India, and it's also a fabric that bleeds. David. Madras. Madras is correct. Listen closely. Clyde Barrow comes up to you and says, give me two G's, a five spot, and four bits. How much does he want? Ginevra. Two thousand... Uh... Five dollars and seventy-five cents. Fifty cents. No, I'm sorry, Margie or Dick. Yeah. Dick. You say two G's of five spot. Four. I can't repeat it for you. I, I can just ask for an answer. Two hundred. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Two thousand five dollars and fifty cents. You had it out by a quarter. Sorry, you never. <laughs> Joe Penner went through his showbiz career. Trying, no time to complete it. No time to complete it. It was trying to sell a bird. What expression did he use to make the sale? And that was anybody want to buy a duck? All right, that's the end of the round with the score. The Dorns 40, the Bales 45 points. In a moment, we'll play that catch-up round. Both of our couples will have one last chance to win, and we'll be back for that moment right after this message. Now you can clean your rug this afternoon and entertain guests tonight. Glory does it. Glory. The new spray foam rug cleaner from Johnson Wax. Just push the button. That's right. Just push the button. With Glory, the cans, the applicator. You get instant foam. It's deep cleaning foam like professionals use. Just sponge it in. Glory foams out the dirt fast. See? 
This rug is cleaner already. Let dry, then vacuum. Glory dries so fast, the rug you clean it too can be bright and beautiful at six. And just one can cleans a big 10 by 14 rug for less than two dollars. Try new Glory. So easy you can clean your rug this afternoon. Entertain guests tonight. Glory, new from Johnson Wax. Our catch-up round scores are the Dorns 40, the Bales 45, Margie and Dick, your last chance to win. You may confer with, you, with each other. You are five points behind. Here are the questions from 10 to 50. How many would you like to try for? I think we'll go for 50. 50? Give you a 45-point lead. Here's your question. Good luck. This novel won the 1961 Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. It was set in a small town in Alabama. Its main characters were Scout and Jem Finch and their father Atticus, a lawyer. Name the novel. I'll call for your answer in 10 seconds. All right, Margie or Dick? To Kill a Mockingbird. That's correct, for 50 points, To Kill a Mockingbird. Comes down to you, Ginevra and David, you are now 45 points behind. We'll try the 50. <laughs> That'll give you the game in your first room, good luck. We're looking for an object. It was taken from Scotland and brought to England by Edward I. It now can be found in Westminster Abbey, where it lies beneath a special coronation chair. Name this object. I'll call for your answer in 10 seconds. Geneva or David? The coronation stone. That's correct. The coronation stone is here. The stone is home. You just won your first room on Green House. Geneva and David. Your dream house garage is designed for happy times outdoors. For gardening, you'll enjoy your Cadet 60 riding lawnmower from International Harvester. It features a six horsepower, four cycle engine with electric key starting, plus four forward and reverse speeds. And your sleek 32 inch International Harvester has a modern all steel channel frame and fiberglass body. With it, Black & Decker presents a lawn edger and trimmer for professional landscaping. Precision garden tools are quality constructed by Black & Decker for long wear and performance. And when gardening is done, Gates will provide the wheels for a picnic. They're constructed of four-ply polyester cord, and your super silent safety premium tires eliminate flat spotting to give unsurpassed strength and riding comfort from the Gates Tire Company. Now, for that picnic, here's a generous supply of smooth and crunchy Peter Pan peanut butter. It comes with a beautiful wicker picnic basket fitted with place setting spray, including cups, spoons, and forks. Peter Pan is the easy eaten peanut butter with the grown up taste. Afterwards, you'll enjoy your new Evinrude Aquanaut. It's a floating air compressor for fishing and exploring underwater without tanks and regulators. And your Evinrude Aquanaut comes complete with a 25-foot plastic hose, mask, and back harness. Ginevra and David, it's all yours for lots of outdoor fun from Dreamhouse. Well, I don't know where you're going to use the Aquanaut up in Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> the water's a little cold. The water's there. a little... Well, it warms up in the summertime, I'm sure. Congratulations, Jennifer and David. Your first Thank room, you. six more in the house is yours. Margie and Dick, they, you played a great game today. There was a seesaw battle all the way. Thank you for being with us. You did win the patio yesterday. And our best wishes go to you from Greenhouse. We'll be back with Jennifer and David Bales trying for their second room in just a moment. First, watch this, please. In the old days before mother ever put up a grape jam or jelly. She picked the juiciest conquered grapes, put them into her special copper kettle, and let them boil until the steam was rising thick. Welch's goes through pretty much the same thing, except we don't let any of the steam escape. In that steam is a lot of extra flavor. Welch's couldn't match the love mother put into our jellies and jams, so we settled for a little extra flavor. <coughs> It's the juice of the grape that makes Welch's frozen grape juice what it is. It's the juice of the grape. 
It's the tart, refreshing, invigorating juice of the grape that makes Welch's worth going a little out of your way for. It's the juice of the grape! Double Time Dreamhouse will receive a fabulous His and Her Jewelry wardrobe by Sarah Coventry, including jewelry for all occasions, all fashion designed by Sarah Coventry. We'll be back with the second half of Dreamhouse after this important word. The party's wonderful. You should have seen a look What a time for a headache. You could take aspirin, but Bufferin goes to work in half the time. Half the time. Why? Because in the first critical minutes, Bufferin speeds its pain reliever to your headache twice as fast as simple aspirin. So Bufferin goes to work in half the time. Half the time. That's Bufferin time. Lately, do you sometimes feel just a little taken for granted? Maybe gray hair makes you seem less exciting, older. Loving Care Hair Color Lotion by Clairol washes gray hair young again. Colors only the gray without changing your natural hair color. Makes it look fresh, sparkling. What would your husband do if suddenly you looked 10 years younger? You'd be surprised what a little loving care can do. Welcome back to the second half of Dream House. And once again, here is your host, Mike Carroll. Thank you. Thank you, Chet. We're back now with our champions, Ginevra and David Bales, who have won the first of seven rooms they need to win their dream house and furnishings worth more than $40,000. Ginevra and David, room two comes up at you right now. Good luck to you. Here are your challengers, Bunny and Wayne Berman. <laughs> Bunny and Wayne, uh, you live in New York City? Uh, no, we live in uh, Greenbelt, Maryland. Oh, in Maryland. Well, what brings you to New York? We're on our honeymoon. How many days have you been married? We've been married two days. Isn't that wonderful? Congratulations <laughs> to you. Very good. What do you do in Maryland, Wayne? Well, I'm a senior at the University of Maryland studying American history. And you plan to teach history when you're through? Yes, I hope to teach history on the secondary level. Good. Bunny, how about you? I'm an insurance clerk near Washington. What house have you chosen to play for? The Kingsbury Bordeaux. The Bordeaux? Let's look at it now. Chet? The Kingsbury Bordeaux is a true French provincial design featuring three bedrooms and an expansive master suite. And two rooms of your choice will have peel and stick tile floors by Flint Coat, a time-saving practical idea for beautiful carefree floors. Peel and stick, just that easy, just that quick. Mike? Wayne, where would you build that house if you win? In Potomac, Maryland. Well, good luck to you. You've chosen a beautiful house to play for. You know how our game is played. For a set of questions that are worth five points. We're playing for the dream family room and some lovely gifts in it. Good luck to you. I caution both couples at both times, at all times, signal before answering or we cannot accept your answer. If a carnivorous animal eats meat and a herbivorous animal eats plants, what does an omnivorous, David? Everything. Everything or anything is right. That uh, light in front of you, as you know, David locks you out of the next question only. Ginevra alone against Bunny and Wayne. The year is 1953. The scene of Broadway theater. The curtain goes up. There is a Japanese man who welcomes you to his village. The show won the Pulitzer Prize. Name it. Bunny. The Mikado? No. Ginevra, can you signal? Ginevra? Uh, Flower drum song. No. Tea House of the August uh. Moon. Tea House of the August okay. Moon. He was a famous artist. His last name was Van Reen. What was his first name, the name we know him by? Rembrandt. Oh, oh no. Rembrandt. <laughs> oh, yes. Here's a song about a train. Listen. She's as graceful as a comet, smoother than a waterfall. It's the Western. Yes, David. The Wabash Mountain Ball. Or no. Bunny or, uh, Bunny or Wayne. I can, Bunny or, can you signal, Wayne? <laughs> The Wabash Cannon. That's right. I had to take it from you, uh, David. Sorry, Wayne, that's good for 10 points. Uh, the light in front of you now indicates you're out of the next question. Bunny alone against you, never, and David. And would you both watch over here, please? Here's what I call an equation. Without further reducing, Ginevra? Uh, y equals one fourth. No, I'll complete it for you, Bunny, before you signal. Without further reducing this fraction, what does Y equal? Two. You didn't signal, Bunny. Sorry, please, <laughs> no. signal at all times. No points. If you were to address Dear Abby by her last name, yes, David? Van Buren. Van Buren is right. That's correct. Hide the score. 
Speaking of Dear Abby, who is her romance expert sister? Ginevra. Ann Landers. Ann Landers is correct. <laughs> All right, that's our meeting for the next two minutes. The point value on our questions doubles, and the score, Berman's 10, Bale's 15. We clear the board. You all have a chance at this first question. In 1947, a Bedouin stumbled upon a cave at Qumran that contained the ancient writings, David? The Dead Sea Scrolls. That's correct. What are these writings popularly called, the Dead Sea Scrolls? Name the comic strip character who rides Dinny the Dinosaur. Ginevra. Uh, Fred Flintstone. No. Bunny or Wayne? B uh, Wayne? Alley-oop. Alley -oop is oh, correct okay. with 20 points. <laughs> the American writer J.P. Marcand created the detective named Mr. Moto. What is Mr. Moto's nationality? <laughs> David. Korean. No. Bunny, can you signal? Chinese. Uh, <laughs> no, it was Japanese anyway. Signal before Sorry, answering, man. Bunny. Okay. Wayne, did you know you were buzzing anyway? A group of pigeons is called a flock. What is a group of lions called? Wayne. I'm sorry, I buzzed too soon. All right, Geneva or David? Uh, David? A pride. The pride is correct. That's right. I think the signal on that, judges, was for Wayne. Was that right? Good. All right. Is an obtuse angle more than, less than, or uh, Ginevra? Uh, more than. More than is correct. More than 90 degrees. <laughs> I'm thinking of an opera by Verdi. Its title, translated into English, means The Lost One. Name the opera. <laughs> Bunny. Verdi. Oh, Verdi? No. no. <laughs> David, can you signal? <laughs> David? No? It's La Traviata. Uh -huh. the, the opera by Verdi, The Lost One, is the translation. A best-selling book and hit movie entitled Beloved Infidel was about the last years of F. Scott Fitzgerald's life. Its author is a popular columnist. Name her. Sheila Graham. Sheila Graham. Quick, what was Eleanor Roosevelt's maiden name? <laughs> Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Oh, no. <laughs> Otto Preminger, director. No time to complete it. We were looking for the Frank Sinatra star in the movie uh, with the monkey in his back. He played Frankie Machine. The movie was The Man with the Golden Arm. That's the end of the round with the score. Berman's 30, the Bales 55. <laughs> In a moment, we'll have our catch-up round. Each of our couples will have one last chance to win, and we'll be back for that exciting moment right after this message. Dawn breaks, watch it, watch and the it. action starts. Let's, let's set it up. Can we set it up? ABB Sports again prepares to bring you the unconventional. Exclusive techniques, teamwork, tons of equipment, experience, and unmatched creativity add up to superb coverage and commentary of championship golf. Three, two, one. Let's play along with a crane. Does anybody know what's the most? Stay there, unless they're finished. Your mic's not in. Stand by. If they're finished, we'll go back out on the fairway. Here's the putt. Stand by to go to 14. Yeah, we'll have to give them a roll cue on tape, too. So give us a little warning. This year, ABC Sports covers 13 top golf tournaments. In coming weeks, watch for exclusive coverage of the British Open and the PGA Championship. In color, here on ABC. Our catch-up round scores are the Bermans 30, the Bales 55, Bunny and Wayne, your last chance to win. You may confer with each other. You are 25 points behind here on the board, anywhere from 10 to 50. How many would you like to try for? I think we'll take the 50-point question. I'll give you a lead of 25. Good luck. James Whitcomb Riley, the great Hoosier poet, often wrote in the dialect of farm people of the Midwest. One such poem written in this manner has since become a classic. It's, it nostalgically describes autumn on the farm when, to quote, a feller is a feelin' at his best. Name the poem. I'll call for your answer in 10 seconds. <laughs> Bunny or Wayne, your answer, please. At home on the farm? No, when the frost is on the pumpkin. When the frost is on the pumpkin. David and Ginevra, you've won your second room on Dream House. It's a dream family room, Ginevra and David. And look at it right now. Yes, for year-round enjoyment, here is a Dream House family room designed by Vandy Kraft. 
Your game tables and matching chairs are from Vandycraft's English Village Collection. And they're constructed of heavy two-inch redwood with a warm chestnut brown finish. It's the perfect place now to serve Adam's delicious caramel corn. It's old-fashioned, buttery caramel corn with fresh roasted peanuts. Mouth-watering taste appeal from Adam's. And to go along with it, you'll receive 12 cases of Dad's Creamy Root Beer Soda. For mealtime, party time, or any time, Dad's has real flavor like root beer should. And it's perfect to serve at your Bandy Craft snack bar set. A handsome bar with four swivel-top stools. The entire family will enjoy wearing Tread Lights casual fabric shoes. An assortment of men's, women's, and children's Cambridge shoes by Treadlight, the quality footwear for easy summer living. And we know you'll enjoy your new color TV. It's a portable model from the giant Spiegel catalog. David and Ginevra, it's all yours for lots of family fun from Dreamhouse. Ginevra and David, congratulations. That's two now. Five more and the house is yours. You've won the garage and this beautiful family room. You have lots of uh, fun and excitement in there. As you said, Ginevra, you've got peanut butter now yeah, and really dad's root beer. You're not going to go hungry anyway. Good luck to you. Congratulations and keep continued you. success. Thank Bunny you very Wayne, much, Mike. Thank you very much for being thank with you. us. We have a wardrobe of his and hers jewelry by Sarah Coventry we'd like you to accept. Our best wishes to you on a long and happy marriage. Congratulations again, Anna. We'll be back now with our champions, Ginevra and David Bales, in a moment. But first, please watch this. This is the Olympic year on ABC. ABC Sports will present in October the greatest sporting event in the world. The Summer Olympic Games, exclusively live and in color, from Mexico City. ABC's unprecedented coverage of the Olympics will be the most comprehensive in history. 44 hours of matchless excitement in two weeks, in prime time at night as well ends. You'll be able to experience as never before the exploits of the world's greatest athletes in track and field, swimming and diving, gymnastics and rowing, the whole brilliant panorama of 20 Summer Olympic sports through ABC's exclusive color slow motion and stop action videotape. Be sure to watch, then, the 19th Summer Olympic Games from beautiful Mexico City on ABC. Ginevra and David Bales have just won their second room. They have the garage and the family room. Ginevra, did you alert everybody back at Boulder, Colorado to be watching the shows? More or less, more yeah. More or less. <laughs> Well, you better get on the phone and tell them you're on your way now. Two rooms, five more to go, and the beautiful house is yours. And I hope you had the chance to go back to Boulder and look for some room for that house. We'll have you back again tomorrow. We have new challenges for you, so join us then, will you? And I hope you'll join us at the same time when, once again, we come by 1 o'clock, 12 noon Central Time here on ABC with Dreamhouse. Mike Darrow here. Bye-bye for now. Have a good day. Additional merchandise on Dreamhouse supplied by Spiegel, the famous mail order house with over 40,000 items. Spiegel, Chicago, Illinois. The 30-volume Encyclopedia Americana is a source authority for questions used on Dreamhouse. For more than 100 years, Encyclopedia Americana has been synonymous with accuracy. Stay tuned for Wedding Party next. This is Chet Gould speaking. Dreamhouse is a Don Reed production. Tomorrow night, one of the entertainment world's most electrifying personalities, the French singing star Gilbert Becot, headlines his own musical special. Watch for Mr. 100,000 Volts, Gilbert Becot, tomorrow in color, here on ABC.